think of the word vulnerable, what crosses your mind? I know for me, the first thing that comes to my mind is being weak or potentially getting taken advantage of, but being vulnerable is a strength. And today, we are going to talk about how you could manifest your desires through vulnerability. So before we get started, make sure to like below, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells so every single Wednesday and Friday when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. And also, if you're interested in chatting more and connecting, follow me on my Instagram, be bold, be fierce, be you. Welcome back to my channel, Bright Light. My name is Brie Mosquera and I am a Law of Attraction Mindset Coach. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I appreciate your views and I appreciate all the subscribers that I currently have and I look forward for us to grow our community. On this channel, you will find self-development, wellness, Law of Attraction, and manifesting tips. Today, we are talking about manifesting your desires through vulnerability. So what do you think when you think of the word vulnerability? Drop your comment below. With all the negativity that we see on the news, society, and even our parents teach us to not be vulnerable, to not put ourselves out there because of the possibility of getting hurt. And I'm sure their intentions are only to protect us and to keep us safe. But when you view vulnerability as being something negative that can cause you harm, the actual definition of vulnerability, well, of being vulnerable, vulnerable is that you're exposed to the possibility of being attacked or harmed mentally or physically. When we view being vulnerable in this way, in this negative light, it then blocks us from being able to identify the emotions that we're feeling and how exactly to express that. So when you are manifesting your desires, first you're ultimately identifying what it is that you want. Then you are focusing on why is this important? Why is this desire important to you? Why is it valuable? How is it going to benefit and change your life for the better? In order to strengthen our manifestations, we also share our desires with others. We open ourselves up to the universe as well because we are making the request to them and we are making sure that we are living our most authentic life by by expressing the thoughts that go through our mind, the emotions that we're experiencing without feeling any type of shame or guilt or embarrassment. Let's change our narrative about how we view vulnerability and let's view it in a more positive light, viewing it in a sense that this action will help us grow further within ourselves, learning about our soul's inner desires and also strengthening our manifestation. Because if you think about it, being vulnerable is the core to our emotions and we need to be able to identify and understand what our emotions are so we know which ones are the emotions that are blocking our manifestation and causing limiting beliefs and also which are the emotions we wish to feel that the best version of us experiences on a day-to-day. -day. So let's talk about how you can start to be vulnerable and how you can start to change that narrative of how you view the word vulnerability and the action of doing so, of expressing yourself freely. Vulnerability is a form of communication because when you are sharing your emotions and your inner desires with others, you are then strengthening that bond between yourself and that person. And it also opens a new channel of communication. And this can be used with your partner, with your friends, even with your employer, simply asking for a raise because you believe that the value you put into the work deserves a higher income. And of course, we cannot control other people. We don't know how exactly the person we are sharing our emotions and thought with, how they will react. So it is important that we just focus on ourselves and being true to ourselves by expressing these emotions and thoughts rather than holding them in and blocking our energy, which can then promote more negative emotions and limiting beliefs. Being vulnerable is not for the other person that you are speaking to. It is more for yourself because you feel confident in yourself knowing that no matter what the outcome is, you are living an authentic life. And by doing so, you increase your level of confidence and you increase your self-worth because you know that you are being true to yourself and you're not allowing your doubts or your fears get in the way and hold you back. So it also empowers you being vulnerable because you are not scared of what the outcome is or what a person might say in response to your emotions and thoughts. You're just more focused on getting out there and knowing that you did everything you could to either change a situation or 
or just to feel alleviated from the emotions that you are experiencing because ultimately sharing, releasing the emotions that we experience, it frees us up. I do have my window open, so if you hear the phone call, somebody is being called. If you still feel a little unsure about being vulnerable, about opening up and sharing your emotions and thoughts, reflect on that. Reflect on why are you scared of opening up and being true to yourself, right? And actually listening to your heart's desires. The desires that we think of that comes to our mind of things that we want to work on and that we want to achieve, they don't show up, they don't pop up into our mind for nothing. They come to us for a reason because it's our heart inner desire. Ultimately, we have all the answers within our inner soul. We just have to take the time to actually listen to what it is that truly makes us happy, that makes us feel fulfilled. Think about why do you feel scared or nervous to experience all this goodness, to experience fulfillment and satisfaction and feeling rewarded because you are doing something that is true to you. And after you've reflected on why you potentially feel scared of being vulnerable, also affirm, affirm the emotions that you want to feel when you are being vulnerable, when you are opening up. I know it can be scary if you're not used to doing it, but once you do begin to put yourself out there, it becomes so much more easier to continue doing it because you feel relieved. It's almost like when you think of a volcano, it's sitting still for many, many years, just holding up all this energy and then next thing you know it explodes and it has that release so view yourself being vulnerable in that way that as soon as you begin to open up and share your emotion and thought and almost advocate for yourself depending on the different scenarios when you are expressing yourself whether it be at work or when working on a school project so i suggest that before you express yourself to someone get yourself in that mind state of being confident of being strong and believing that you are are these qualities and these emotions that you are affirming so you do feel prepared to open up to the person that you are speaking to so an affirmation you might say is I am strong I am confident I am strong I am confident I am strong I am confident this is just an example. You can create any type of affirmation that resonates more with you and that reflects the superpower and strength of you being vulnerable and opening up. And you can always visualize. You can just take a few minutes, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and visualize yourself having this conversation, not focusing on what the other person will say or what the outcome will be because we cannot control that. We can only control ourselves. So focusing on you speaking and the type of words that you are using. I challenge you today to speak to somebody that you've been wanting to speak to that you've been wanting to open up to or just share any type of emotion and thought with and do it and try these techniques of affirming and visualizing yourself doing it and also realizing the benefits of you opening up to that person is going to open a new channel of communication for you is going to strengthen your relationship with that person because you are opening up and that that person will appreciate it as well to be able to learn more about you. So it strengthens the bond. And also you are increasing your level of confidence and self-worth because you are living an authentic life that is true to your desires and to your needs. I hope you are feeling inspired and ready to start opening up these channels of communication for yourself. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells so every single Wednesday and Friday when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. So I'm sending you lots of positivity, hope, and love your way.